What's up? It's Christmas Stone Fox Media. And I know what you're thinking. You're freaking out because of the title. I know. But it wasn't from me. It was actually from another author. So go ahead and put your claws away. I don't want you to turn into werewolf cats on me. And by the way, werewolf cats are a thing. And they're freaking me out. Apparently two people make cats have sex so they can actually get werewolf cats. And I don't know what's more disturbing. The fact that they actually made werewolf cats. Or that two people actually made two cats fuck so they could get werewolf cats. Either way. Mind blown. But let me tell you what's going on with this whole entire person in regards to Fallout 4. And I'm going to give you guys uh, my first impressions of Fallout 4 so you can know what I think about the game. So apparently this author, uh, Damon Barris from the home of Huffington Post, uh, made an article title saying Fallout 4 is too stupid to be game of the year. That is what he said. And what I found so ridiculous about this is that his whole entire evaluation is based primarily on the fact that you can't kill the dog dog meat can't kill him he's mad about it so in this whole entire uh, article where you know he tested the game out and he basically said that uh for some strange reason you can't kill the dog and it has a lot to do with the dog's invisibility he says you can shoot it uh put a whole entire clip into it it won't even get hurt he says that the problem is that Fallout 4 has a lot of glitches uh, that's supposed to happen in this whole entire cohesive world and that you can mow down wild mongrels gigantic irradiated bugs and then you acquire a pet dog that is seamlessly impervious to bullets. Uh, if you happen to unload a whole entire clip of ammunition into the dog from your automatic rifle, uh, the animal just stands there and doesn't die, despite the fact that it sprays blood after every shot. So he did say that it is a little bit absurd and that that's one of the reasons why this game can't be game of the year, in addition to some of the other problems in the whole entire world. My whole entire interpretation of this is, listen to me, you fucking dog hater. Now, I don't know what your problem is with dogs. I don't know what Ren 10, 10 ever did to you in your life. What happened to you? I don't know. Maybe you're not over Call of Duty Ghost. I'm not over it. No one's forgotten it, but it's still a problem. But you don't have to carry it over into this actual game. When I actually look at this whole entire game and, and the way it made me feel as soon as I started playing it, all I can say is this. That's right. That happened. I just applauded the game. It actually seems really good. I mean, from, from the moment you start the game, you get this whole entire sense that you're actually in this place, that you're in this world, and that, you know, you're a part of it all. You walk around, you take care of your kid, you spin the mobile, you're like, oh, this is a cute little baby, and you get to build your character. They don't give you many options of hair, which I don't know why games suck at giving you hair options. There should be like 100 different hairstyles, but most of them only have like 10, and it really pisses me off. Pisses me off to no end. But still, uh, the game got started pretty quickly. Uh, you know, the incidents happened. I don't want to do too many spoiler alerts from the whole entire game. And then shortly after that, the drama gets started. You got to run into your bunker. And then you got to get into these time capsules. It frees you and cryostasis. Uh, kind of like Han Solo. Just a little bit like Han Solo. And then you come out of your time chamber. And then you basically start going from there. That's where it starts. Uh, I can't say this, that the game is very crisp. Uh, I know a lot of people are like, what platform did you buy it on? I will tell you at the end of this video. But it looks very crisp. Uh, you know, the graphics themselves are a little outdated. But given the size of this game, it does warrant making things a little bit downgraded. But it is very crisp. It's a little sharp. And uh, I can actually say that the gameplay is not half bad. I mean, I like the things that they did with it. It was very classic, but yet very modern at the same time. And I was very impressed uh, by it. one of the problems that I actually have with this game, and I can actually say this, is the emotional aspect of it. Uh, I know my character is probably supposed to be a Billy Badass, but what I can say is that, you know, you get started in your house and you're all like, yeah, I got my house, my washing machine. Look at my washing machine. It's such a cool washing machine. It must be like Frigidaire or something like that. And then you come out your little time chamber after your wife got murked and they put you back to sleep not 10 seconds afterwards. Like, oh, she's dead. And you're like, Oh, uh, let me get out of my time chamber. He's all like, uh, uh. he's not like, ah, he's like, uh. then he opens up the little pod and he's like, it's okay, baby. I'm going to find the people who did this. I'm going to do it. And he takes off a ring and then he just freaking just walks on about his day. Like, is that the kind of reaction you're supposed to get as soon as your wife dies and someone steals your kid in front of you? There should have been a cut scene. There should have been a, oh my God, no, baby, no, come back. You used to call me. Oh my. Okay, I'm not going to do the Drake. And then uh, shortly after that, he did kind of just walk in the hallway and he saw these gigantic ass roach, which kind of looked like a Paul Metal Bug from Georgia, if he ever actually been there. And he murked it and it's like, ooh, roach meat. 
Let me take some of this and put me in my pocket. His reaction wasn't like, what the fuck is that? It's a big ass fucking roach. That was not his response. He was, roach, I killed the bitch, big as fuck, take its meat. That would not have been my reaction after I came from a civilized world where I can open up food and, you know, have a kitchen. And then all of a sudden now you're, you're picking out roach meat within like a minute of getting out and your wife is just dying in front of you. It probably should have worked on that just a hair more. Uh, the game is very broad. Uh, I mean, you walk around and you find yourself hoarding for things. You're like, ooh, ooh, what's that? You take cans and dumbass things that you would never ever take in real life, but your mindset starts changing. You're like, maybe this might be valuable. So you start snatching all these things, and then you open up a suitcase, pick the lock, and start putting stuff in there, cracking saves, a little bit of hacking. I did find myself reading all the little uh, computer things, finding out uh, things that happened in the actual story while I was knocked out in the sleep. So that in itself is pretty awesome because most people just skip straight over that stuff but it is a very good game and i have not been playing it that long only like three and a half hours so i am very immersed in this game and i want to play this game a lot now as for which platform i actually bought this game on i may or may not have bought it on pc i know i know i know what you're saying i'm console for life console for life but this part right here I wanted to give them one more chance. So I figured I was going to try this game on PC and see what it looks like. I mean, I, we all know about the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One issues, especially Xbox One, sometimes dropping down into the single digits, depending on where you go. So yeah, I really wanted to see what this game could look like if you actually maxed it out on Ultra Settings. So yeah, that's why I went ahead and did. Uh, I also was highly interested in this whole entire cloud thing because uh, they did reveal that, hey, we're going to allow you to do this game on a cloud. So that means you can put it on multiple PCs like your laptop and you can take it somewhere else and play it over there. So yeah, that's what happened. It's what happened. I'm sorry. I know I betrayed the coven. But I had to see what this game looks like on PC because I wanted to run it on my 4K 70-inch TV and I was like, it looks... I have to say it. I got to give them credit for that. I'm sorry. It looks fucking magnificent. It does. It does. I know. I know what you're thinking. The PC Master Race is the dark side. But sometimes they have really good cookies. Damn good cookies. Damn good cookies sometimes. And uh, no, I did not use a keyboard. I actually used my uh, Elite Controller. I cannot use a keyboard. I refuse to do it. I feel like I'm writing a school paper and trying to play a game at the same time. It just freaks me out. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm just vacationing here. I wouldn't want to live here. The console is life. But sometimes you just want to take a vacation and go to the PC Master Race site. <clears throat> and it's okay. It's okay. That's it. Yeah. Well, that's all the news I got for you guys right now. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, so you know as soon as my news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching, and I will holla at y'all later. Thank you guys for watching my whole entire episode. I really do appreciate it. Hit that like and subscribe button. And after that, go to my Stone Fox Media store. Get cool things like shirts, iPhone cases, you name it. Uh, even got mugs. There's nothing in the mug.